When using Preview to look at a PDF textbook, there's plenty of different options you can use in how you view the actual PDF textbook itself. So you can look at a single page by chapters as a sheet of all the thumbnails or just thumbnails next to the individual pages. So find the method that works best for you to easily find your information and read what it is that you're trying to look at. Along with being able to look at the data in different ways, you'll see that there's plenty of connectivity built into the PDF itself. Here on the table of contents, you'll see that every single chapter heading is a link. So you don't have to scroll through to get to a specific page. Just click on the ch chapter title and you go right there. Within the individual chapters, you'll see the same type of functionality. The subchapters are all hyperlinks, so you can click on any one of those and jump to that specific section. And from there, you'll be able to jump back into other areas of the text. So as we scroll around within the text, what you'll see are at the top of each page, either a chapter heading or a title for the textbook. Clicking on the chapter heading will bring you back to the chapter overview. So a quick way of getting from one section of the chapter to the next. If on the other hand, you want to get to a completely different chapter, just tap on the analytical chemistry title and it brings you back to the table of contents page. One of the biggest advantages to using the PDF textbook as a download versus using it online is the ability to annotate and mark up the textbook just as you would a paper textbook. So one of the neat things you can do with preview is you can actually look up any term you don't know. This can be really useful. In this case, you can pull up a dictionary, thesaurus, and Wikipedia definition of the specific term. Just highlight it and right click and you can pull up more information. So really there's no excuse not to know something that's written in the textbook. You can find out just about anything immediately from the PDF itself. Obviously you need to be connected to the internet in order for that to happen. The other benefit is the ability to actually highlight and change the text just as you would with a textbook. Right? So on the top of the menu bar you can select the highlight tool and you can highlight sections of your text in various colors. Right, there's a limited palette of colors that it provides for you, but you can use different colors for different notes, just as you would with a real paper textbook. These will be saved and you can find them at later times. You'll also notice that the thumbnail gets modified and you can see the highlight in the thumbnail. Beyond highlighting, you can do many other annotations. You can add images, so shapes, arrows, change the colors of things that you add into the process, all through the annotation menu. And you can get that one by clicking on the icon on the far right of the top menu bar. Crucially, you can also add written text into the um, notes that you put into the textbook, into the digital textbook. So you can make these either as a text block that you can see, or you can make a note which only will appear when you click on it or put your cursor over top of it, but you can put much more text in there in a much more compact fashion. You just have to click on the yellow box and text will reappear. Finally, one other feature that you can find within the PDF text is the ability to search the text itself for keywords. So in the top right hand corner is your standard search bar. Type in any term you're interested in and it will start to pop up. On the left hand side in this particular view, you'll see each of the pages that have that keyword. If you click on them, you'll see that the word of interest is highlighted on those pages. So it's a nice way to find something if you're not exactly sure where it is in the textbook.